Okay, this is an incredibly important video that I'm making right now, and it's gonna be made with very little production because I just want to, I, I want to get it all out there so that you guys know what the fuck is happening. This is potentially not the most important video I've ever made, but it is one of the more important videos here. I just want to get it all out there so that you guys understand what is happening, basically, all right? So yesterday we talked about the Act Man and Quantum TV. The Act Man made a bunch of videos calling out a copyright abuser, Quantum TV, some guy that flags people with a false copyright uh, abuse, somebody that abuses the DMCA system in, or, in order to go after critics of him. All right, Act Fan made two big videos calling out Quantum TV and calling for action against Quantum TV's channel. In response to this, YouTube actually removed Act Man's second documentary video and has now demonetized his entire fucking channel. As of about 30 minutes ago, all right, Act Man has been officially demonetized. And I don't think he's getting it back. But, I mean, I don't know that to be fair. He might be able to get it back. He might be able to get it course corrected. But I'm doubtful for some of the reasons that I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, yesterday, when I talked about Ackman's video going down, I said that it seems like a mistake and it seemed like something that he's likely going to be able to get fixed. Well, today I'm telling you that that is probably not going to happen. Okay? He's probably fucked and there's probably nothing that you or me, or Keemstar, or anybody else can do about it. Literally. All right? But before we get into that, let me just show you guys some stuff that just doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, first of all, read this tweet from Actman. I want to make it clear that I'm not at war with YouTube. I am deeply frustrated. However, if YouTube believes my videos violated the guidelines, they are fully within their right to take them down. We are in communication, and I hope we can mediate a solution. I will continue to advocate for the enforcement of YouTube's community guidelines and TOS, even if I don't always agree with their application. I just hope the rules will be enforced equally. I will always advocate for what I feel is right. Now, these two tweets are followed up by another tweet where he says, I don't know if the channel will be mysteriously taken down in the near future, but if it does, it has been an honor making content for you all these years. This is the act man signing out. So what do you guys notice about these two tweets right here, okay? They're in total contradiction to each other. On one hand, Actman is saying, I love YouTube, I love their TOS, I will always defend YouTube and their TOS, even if I don't agree with it. And then in the next tweet, he's saying, I'm going to get fucking banned, I'm going to get mysteriously terminated. And a lot of people were pointing out the difference in nature between these two tweets and pointing out what the fuck is going on here. Well, then this is followed up by a post at four in the fucking morning, four o'clock a.m. Important message from the act man. After having some time to think, I don't believe Quantum TV is behind the recent removal of my video and demonetization of other videos. Nobody deserves to be condemned under false charges, even Quantum TV. I stand by every other accusation I have levied against him and firmly believe he needs to be removed from the platform. Although I risk my channel and my life's work of the last seven years by saying this, it is not quantum that is the problem. There is a severe corruption happening at YouTube. That is my firm belief. I could not live with myself if I did not see speak my truth on the matter. This is a gut feeling I have. My brother was doxxed during all of this and harassed by a mysterious phone number claiming to be quantum, but was not him. I continue to put my family in jeopardy by fighting for the justice that I believe in, and I can't do that anymore. Today, I'll post what may likely be my last video on YouTube before I am removed. Whether I am banned or not, I must take a break from YouTube. I've had time to reevaluate my priorities in life. I've spent the last seven years working on the act, man. I think that it's time I worked on Kelly and Kelly's family. I hope there is a channel to come back to, but if there is not, then at the very least, I will have had the chance to say goodbye. Please carry the torch of revolution in my absence. Continue fighting for a better YouTube. Copyright abuse must not be tolerated. Hate speech must not be tolerated. Threatening children must not be tolerated. And all the other community guidelines quantum is broken. None of it should be tolerated. Justice must be served. A dragon never yields. Now, you can see Willie Mac in the comments pointing out how 
melodramatic Act Man is being, how over the top and even cringy he's being, right? Because a lot of people are like, dude, relax. You just had one video taken down. It's not the end of the world. Your channel is not in jeopardy. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. But some wiser people pointed out that, well, I mean, there's clearly something happening here that we don't know about. There's a missing piece to this puzzle that makes all of this make a lot more sense than it seems to be right now. Because again, I want to point out, at first, Ackman's like, don't worry, guys, I love YouTube. Then he's talking about getting banned. Then he's practically writing like a fucking note before he gets banned, a preemptive note saying to, at, uh, pledging people to carry his legacy and continue the revolution. Like, what is this language? What is he even saying? Well, then the drama alert came out today and suddenly it's starting to make a little bit more sense what's going on here. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm pretty fucking surprised that Keemstar was the one to talk about this so openly on YouTube, but it came out of his, his mouth. Let's hear what he had to say. Some of you are probably gonna get some of those on this video, unless YouTube demonetizes me because of the next story. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna have to criticize YouTube in a major way. This is un- Believable. Now, that's right, on June 2nd, Ackman came out with another video, but this time he criticized YouTube for not taking action on Quantum TV. You know, in this video, he's playing like clips from YouTube employees explaining what the terms of service and what the policy is and saying, okay, that's the rules. He broke the rules. Why are you not taking action on Quantum TV? Now, this second video that Ackman uploads starts going viral too. And YouTube responds. YouTube finally takes action. But not on Quantum TV. No, they banned Ackman's video. They banned Ackman's video. The fans that don't really understand how YouTube works, they start blaming Quantum TV. They're saying, oh, well, Quantum TV is the one that's like flagging Ackman's videos. No. <laughs> not when a video has millions of views by a verified uh, YouTuber with a partner manager. No, at, th at that stage, nobody can flag your video and it just magically goes down. Like YouTube has to make a decision. So Ackman responds and he says, I don't believe Quantum TV is behind my recent video going down. But he also goes on to say that he feels like there's like some type of corruption happening at YouTube. After that statement, YouTube apparently reacts again because Ackman TV is now claiming that his YouTube partner manager reached out to him to inform him at some point he'll be removed from the YouTube partner program. His channel will be completely demonetized. Why would YouTube do this? You're, you're, YouTube, you're actually saying to all of us YouTubers, if you criticize YouTube, we're gonna demonetize your entire channel. What? That is so bad for YouTube. Do you understand how bad that makes YouTube look? Like that's, this is, this is not good. So if you missed that segment, here it is right here. Last week, the Actman criticized two high ranking YouTube employees for inaction. In response, YouTube took down his video, age restricted his older videos and removed him from the partner program entirely. This is fucking disgusting. YouTube is corrupt. So that's what you're hearing right here, all right? Actman's video specifically called out two YouTube employees by name. And now his channel's demonetized and he faces threat of full out termination. Now, this is obviously, if that is the case, this is only a theory. But if that is the case, I mean, that's just. It's absolutely insane, especially when we're talking about Quantum TV, who needs to fucking go. Instead, YouTube is worried about their employees. Now, if their employees were getting harassed by the Actman's video, I mean, obviously that's not good, but Actman has no control over that, and he never explicitly called for that to happen whatsoever, all right? But this is the truth of the matter, and some of you guys aren't going to like me saying this, but Actman did technically make a mistake by explicitly naming the employees at YouTube. Because in doing so, he is indirectly inciting a mob against them. Which again, is not something that I agree with, okay? That's not something that I'm like, yeah, Axeman deserves to get demonetized. No, 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 no. What's happening to him is wrong. 
But that's how YouTube sees it. And like I said before, there is nothing you or me or Keemstar or anybody else can do about that, all right? Do not re-upload Actman's video unless you are fully intending to put yourself in danger, okay? Um, we're seeing another Mumkey Jones-like situation here. Uh, I, I almost was going to say a Leafy-like situation, but Leafy's band was a lot more mysterious. Right now, everybody is kind of talking about the real possibility of what's going on with Ackman here. It's the fact that he named people explicitly at YouTube that is why he's getting so much shit. Um, this is really bad. I mean, this is just really bad for the fucking platform. What this essentially means is if you want to criticize YouTube, you've got to fucking tiptoe, make sure you don't do anything that could be deemed out of line. Otherwise, uh, you could get completely fucked and punished for this. And I got to be honest, um, I'm starting to second guess myself on whether or not I want to put this video out myself. But I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong here. I'm just telling you guys like, what everybody else is already saying. Um, but it's scary. And it's especially scary too, because I've been demonetized before and I know how much that it hurts. Uh, because again, even if Actman isn't banned from YouTube, he'll never be promoted ever again. First of all, his entire backlog of videos just got age restricted, which means that they're not getting promoted anymore and they're not making any more money. So YouTube has no incentive to promote these videos anymore. That's what they're saying. Okay, so even if Actman's videos, like more of them aren't taken down and even if his channel is allowed to continue posting, he's never gonna go anywhere. He's gonna keep making videos for his 1.4 million fans that, that are already subbed to him and never be able to really grow ever again. Um, so best case scenario, he's still fucked, all right? This is bad. This is really fucking bad. Um, if any of you guys ever intend to call it YouTube, do not name employees by default. Um, do not explicitly throw shade at anybody. Even if you don't intend for anything to happen, just don't do anything. Don't do it. It's not worth it. YouTube is clearly saying that they will fuck you up if you name anyone at their fucking business, even if it's all public, even, no matter what. And that's the state of reality that we're in right now. So, um... There you go. I don't know if I'm going to post this video yet. I still got to just double check everything. But uh, this is scary as fuck, guys. I don't know. This is fucking wild. This is really, really fucking wild.